hey guys what's up welcome back so in this video we are going to discuss about the anatomy of the tibialna so let's just begin tibial nerve is the larger terminal branch of the sciatic nerve it is the larger terminal branch of the sciatic nerve which is other smaller terminal branch that is the common peroneal nerve we have separate video on the common peroneal nerve make sure to watch that so when it comes to the tibial nerve it is the larger terminal branch of the sciatic nerve it has the root value of the l4 l5 s1 s2 and s3 so this is about the root value of the tibial nerve so what is its course it actually extends vertically downward from the superior angle of the popliteal fossa to the inferior angle we have the popliteal fossa right like this it extends from the superior angle all the way up to the inferior angle so this is about the course of the uh, tibial nerve now let's move on to discuss about the branches of the tibial nerve so what about branches of the tibial nerve this is going to supply some of the muscular branches genicular branches cutaneous branches as well as the vascular branches so remember carefully it is going to give muscular branches and then the genicular branches the cutaneous branches as well as the vascular branches as well so these are the different branches of the tibial nerve now we'll move from downward to upward when it comes to the vascular branches it is going to supply the vasomotor fibers from the t10 to l2 t10 to l2 we have the vasomotor fibers right vasomotor fibers and the vascular branches of the tibial nerve they are going to supply the vasomotor fibers of the t10 to l2 to the popliteal vessels it is they are going to supply the popliteal vessels okay when it comes to the vascular branches of the tibial nerve they are going to supply the vasomotor fibers from the t10 to l2 to the popliteal vessels now moving on to the cutaneous branches the cutaneous branches of the tibial nerve it is called as the sural nerve it is called as the sural nerve and it arises in the about somewhere here middle middle of the popliteal fossa afterwards it will uh, vertically run downward underneath the deep fascia of the fossa and then afterwards it will pierce the roof of the inferior angle so that's about the cutaneous branch of the tibial nerve now moving on to the genicular branches now we know that we have the superior medial genicular artery the inferior medial genicular artery as well as the middle genicular artery right these are the branches of the popliteal artery the according to the same arteries the nerve supply is also same we have the superior medial genicular nerve then we have the inferior medial genicular nerve as well as we also have the middle genicular nerve i'm repeating it again we have the superior medial genicular nerve the inferior medial genicular nerve as well as the we have the superior medial genicular nerve inferior medial genicular nerve as well as the middle genicular nerve and they are all going to supply the structures around the knee joint now moving on to the muscular branches the muscular branches it is going to supply the gastrocnemius which are the both heads the medial and the lateral head it is also going to supply the soleus muscle plantaris as well as the popliteus the muscular branches are going to supply the gastrocnemius muscle gastrocnemius both heads medial as well as the lateral head and then it is going to supply the soleus muscle plantaris muscle plantaris as well as the popliteus muscle popliteus so these are the different muscles that uh, uh, the tibial nerve is going to supply gastrocnemius both the head soleus plantaris as well as the popliteus the popliteus actually involves the nerve to popliteus nerve to popliteus which is branch of the tibial nerve now this nerve to popliteus it is going to supply some other structures what are those different structures the nerve to popliteus is actually going to supply the popliteus muscle it's very important to remember it's going to supply the popliteus muscle as well as the tibialis posterior muscle tibialis posterior muscle then it is going to supply tibia it is going to supply the inferior tibiofibular as well as the superior tibiofibular joints inferior as well as the superior tibiofibular joints 
so these are the different structures that the nerve to popliteus which is branch of the tibial nerve that it is going to supply it is going to supply the popliteus muscle tibial is posterior muscle tibia itself the inferior and the superior tibio fibular joints so when it comes to the branches of tibial nerve it is going to give the muscular branches genicular branches cutaneous branches as well as the vascular branches the vascular branches actually is going to give the vasomotor fibers from the t2 and l2 to the popliteal vessels the cutaneous branches is nothing but a sural nerve itself the genicular branches they have three different nerves we have the superior middle genicular nerve inferior middle genicular nerve as well as the middle genicular nerve and when it comes to the muscular branches it is going to supply gastrocnemius both the heads middle as well as the lateral head it is going to supply soleus plantaris as well as the popliteus through the popliteus it is going to give a small branch which is known as the nerve to popliteus and this nerve to popliteus is going to supply some other structures which are include the popliteal muscles tibialis posterior tibia inferior as well as the superior tibia fibular joints so this is about the complete anatomy of the tibial nerve if you like my teaching make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and you can always share it to your other friends and people thank you